But anyways. Speaking of ballads. Yeah. The last song that we're going to talk about is a ballad uh, between a guy and a girl. The guy is Sam Kim. The girl, Kwan Jin Ah. And their song is For Now. Yes, both of these people are from Antenna Music. Yeah. Um, Antenna Music, of course, the head is the dude in K-pop star. What's yeah. his name? Your, he has his he own just, show. Your, your, he has a sketchbook show. Yeah, you, uh, you, 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 Yui Yui Yori. Okay. Something like that. Yes. Um, but they're both from K-pop star Three, I think. Yes, they're both uh, from K-pop Star yeah. Three. Sam Kim was a runner-up, Kwan Jin uh, third place. Yeah. And this song, I think, what really sets it apart from me from most ballad songs is that when Stephen and I both listened to this, we could really feel the emotion in the voices. Yes. And that and, doesn't happen often. And not in that super generic no. KOST kind of quote-unquote emotion. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel fake. Like, it really feels like the, the way they sing the song, it really seems like this is their own sadness. Yes. Right? Yes. And uh, the song starts with the girl singing, and she has this really kind of flavor to her voice that is not Korean, I think. It sounds very... Mm, I, don't, I don't want to keep saying Western because it kind of sounds racist, but it sounds kind of like a 90s R&B flavor to it. Hmm. Yeah, it might just be my ears, but if you hear her voice, it definitely has personality to it and like kind of a tinge of regret. It seems like yeah, definitely the emotion is the the key part here, yeah. where it's like you can hear the sadness, mm -hmm. you can hear, but also you can hear how good of a singer she is. Yeah, she's a. I think if there's anything about this episode, it's like people can it's fucking insane. sing, Yo. right? Like, well, I mean, who do we talk? We talk about, uh, uh, I mean, Eric Nam, no, I guess. Good. I mean, Gabby, Gabby and Jay. Right. V Romance. Romance. Yeah, this is an episode, episode of, like, Hayes. people who can sing, you know? And, yeah. and Girlfriends, uh, G Friends, Naviera, like, that is a really hard song to sing. Yes. Also. Um, but this song, I think it really kind of is good because the backing track is super simple. It's just like an acoustic guitar, yeah. and so the voices can really shine. So after Kwon Jin Ah is done singing, Sam Kim comes in, and he has this voice that is just like, not not particularly technically sound, but it really has so much emotion in it that when you hear it, like you just can't help but feel sad for him, because it sounds like he just broke up with his girlfriend like yesterday, and he's been crying like all day, and now he's singing a song about it. Yeah. yeah. Like he normally has a very raspy kind of voice yeah and it sometimes it doesn't always fit with the song he's trying to sing yeah like even though i really liked his song with with crush the no nunchi yeah um no nunchi yeah. yeah this song is a much better fit for, for his, his style. style of voice mm -hmm. um but now this is even though i think this is technically 
a very good song. Mm -hmm. His voice is amazing. Mm -hmm. Her voice is amazing. They sing together mm -hmm. at the end. It's not a song that I want to listen to ever. And I think that's then that's a huge reason why, like you and I, for most ballads and OST songs, like they don't really have as much lasting value because they are, I think, what we consider mood songs. You have to be in a certain mood to listen to this song, and like if you don't feel sad or want to feel sad, you don't necessarily want to listen to this song when you're like feeling super happy because it's going to bring you down. Yeah. Right. Like and and personally, I just when I'm sad, why you don't want to be listen to more sad. sad. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't want to happy music. Exactly. That's why I got into K-pop in the first place. Yeah. Um, but the music video, we didn't talk about the music video. Mm -hmm. It matches the the song perfectly. Yeah. It's like this split screen, very close up of the uh, Sam Kim's face, Kwon Jin Jin's face. face, and it's one for both of them separately. It's one long take. Yeah, of just, just backing out. Sad face looking sad. Crying. But it matches so well. Yeah. And the lyrics itself are are just so sad. So the the, the Korean uh title for the song is Yogi Kaji. And Yogi Kaji, if you guys watch like Korean Namja and stuff like that, you'll say it at the end, like, oh Yogi Kaji, you know, right? And that means like up to this point. But it's kind of a hard translation to mean kind of like, okay, I'll stop here. Mm. And so this song is about this guy who has a new girlfriend and him and his ex are still kind of good friends and they meet each other and she's she's singing from her point of view. It's just like, oh man, yeah, she looks really nice. She looks really pretty and, you know, we might have gotten along really well, but you guys look like you suit, suit each other better and like when you introduced me as your best friend, all I hated myself because all I could do was laugh. And he comes in and he's talking about how, oh yeah, you know, is it really obvious that I try to find a girl who's like exactly like you? Like, we're, you know, she's pretty, she's, you know, she's kind, but she's not you. And so both of them say like, oh, we have a, I have a lot to say to you, but I'll stop here. And it's just kind of like so ironic and just so kind of bittersweet. Cause it's, it's like oddly specific. It's, like, it's like yeah, that's what makes it. Went through, that's what makes this. it extra. You know, kind of you really yeah. feel it because it's so specific in the scenario, in the lyrics, and just the way they sing it. But it's the best kind of ballad because even if you have no idea what the fuck they're saying, you, you still feel, feel it because their their damn singing voice is so yeah. freaking good. Yeah. Um. So that'll be it because. My voice wants to murder mm -hmm. me. Um, but I do want to mention, though, that uh, as we've said previously, we are both going on vacation mm -hmm. in August yeah. uh, for about two to three weeks. Uh, now, we will record two after show shows. Mm -hmm. One of them will come out next week and one of them will come out sometime during the point that we're gone. Yeah, in those break times. Yeah. But the next main episode will not be until around august 28th yeah the last week in august yeah. yes so that will be almost that will be more than a full month between main episodes mm -hmm. so we just want to tell you that mm -hmm. um hopefully you stick around for the after shows right mm -hmm. now we're planning one of them to be about show me the money five yeah um hopefully we, we can watch some of that because steven and i haven't watched any of that yet uh, i've listened yeah. to the songs but it's obviously different yeah but the songs are like destroying especially by wise are mm -hmm. destroying Killing the korean it. charts yeah. so we want to talk about that mm -hmm. um the second after show show uh is going to be our favorite summer songs Probably top five of our favorite summer songs. Of all time. Of all time. Not just this summer. I mean, that wouldn't make sense. Anyways, <laughs> also, there's not that many good ones. Um, but of all time, our top five summer songs. So uh, that will be one of the few times we actually talk about things from the past. Yeah. Because we very rarely talk about things that are not from the current year. Yeah. Um, so that is our plan. Hopefully, you guys stick with us. Because the last summer, the last time we took a break, a big break in summer for vacation our numbers went down dramatically. Dramatically. Like it was weirdly... Yeah. I don't even know why that happened. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't happen this yeah. year. Uh, but again, it's the very end, so I do want to thank everybody for listening. Mm -hmm. um, again, we got Patreon. You can help us out. PayPal, Audible. Let's say you like this stuff. Mm -hmm. You want to give us some help. We're trying to get to 300. Uh, don't forget you can contact us on Twitter uh, uh, at This Week in K-Pop. Mm -hmm. 
Josh is still being shamed into posting stuff on Instagram. I'm trying, though. At This Week in K-Pop. You can email us, mm-hmm. thisweekinkpop at gmail.com. Please talk to us. And, of course, if you donate on, on, on Patreon, we haven't talked about it in a while, you can talk to us on Slack. Yeah. Um, there are actually a lot of people that, that still donate, and they don't actually talk on Slack, and that's perfectly fine, too. That's you fine. don't have to talk. Just do what you like. Just do what you want to do. All yeah. right. So with that, we're going to end this. We're not going to have another main episode for, for a month. Yeah, Hopefully my voice recovers for the after shows that we need to record later. We'll Bye. see you guys next time.